I think the online education thing about um, so there's a myth around the fact that if kids are online and studying, they're not really engaged. What do you feel about that? Well, YouTube is uh, I I I there is a lot of distraction online, but I also counter there's a lot of distraction happening every day in the classroom. The only thing is you can actually measure the distraction happening online by by saying, hey, look at this funny lame video on YouTube. It's got a billion views. That means a billion people have wasted their time watching this. <laughs> but I sit in a classroom teaching live to kids, and I tell you, more often than not, the faces are blank, and I know in their head they're not even there. So they're also distracted. They just bored. We had boredom. These kids have a choice to do something with their boredom. So I think that if motivation is the key, then we have failed to motivate our own children about the need of why they have to study for this. Then we got to motivate them. I think what you're also saying is that they treat time differently. When we didn't have that many options, we didn't know time could be managed so well or so eff efficiently. Yeah. But efficiency has changed now, right? They are the same kids who are seeing their parents work two jobs, work online, work remotely, and achieve yeah. a lot, right? And yeah. so they know that one hour of you know my mother or my father working is going to be their work day to day or four hours of it is going to be their work day to day. So they've actually seen it in action. Yeah. Whereas we grew up with a generation who went in the morning and came back in the evening and that was life, right? Was and life. and because they've seen time being used differently, they should then also be allowed to use time differently. To use time differently yeah, right? Absolutely. And and but we're stopping it. We are. We're saying internet, don't go on the internet, don't do this, don't do that. I mean, come on. Stopping something, yes, I understand that you don't want your eight-year-old to be on the internet. But when the child is 16, 15, these and you expecting them to be adult making decisions by next year, they are going to be adults going to university. They have to be allowed to use So in, in online education, there are ways to do it right. What, what do you feel about that? I'm, and I think we we should not just talk about online education because I mean I understand I mean online education there's uh, what's happening is first of all this. YouTube, the biggest school out there. Second, the best of the best are now much easier to find. First, I was, I, like when I was a student, I only had the limited, uh, you know, uh, access to five or six teachers for each subject who are in the city to go to study if I wanted to. Now I can study from anybody in the world. In fact, the best person is now available to everybody on YouTube for any subject. So the quality has increased. The second thing also is that they can be also leveraged for schools also. It's not just online space, you see. It's also schools can use their time more efficiently by using online space. Yeah. And not having to waste the time that you finally got a child in a classroom. I mean, imagine this. We get 80, 90 kids in my classroom every hour. Yeah. Every day. And you could have so much happening in that time. Imagine the time that if you put 90 kids in a room and say, do whatever you want. So much can happen. But we don't do anything. You just say, listen to me, because I'm going to say something that I've repeated every year, every year. And I can also have that recorded, condensed. But no, no, listen to me live, because that's what you paid for. The problem is also the mindset. People who are paying money in this country, especially, need to see people labor for that money. So if they want my knowledge, as a, let's say I'm the teacher now, I'm not going to pay. Parent is, Willing to pay money if I do it live because I have worked for it. I wasted my time doing that. But they don't value anything that's done digitally because you know what? Nobody, it was free. You didn't have to spend time. But I had made my effort to do that. So that mindset has to come. Ke, uh, digital products are useful to buy also. Be, be it academic content, be it tools we use to make our work more efficient. And so we once we realize that, We'll get there. Right now, we're too busy on physical products and somebody working and I'll pay them then. Right now, we're too busy resisting the change. We'll always, yes. We, we, yes. <laughs> but the change will become daily then, soon enough. We will have no idea how to resist it. It just doesn't happen in front of us.